Okay, so we're going to play The Legend of Zelda. Um, I've never played The Legend of Zelda before. Um, I maybe picked it up a couple times at my Uncle Earl's house. And he's not actually my uncle, he was my dad's best friend when they were growing up. And uh, Earl was really into video games, so he was awesome. He was like the coolest guy ever growing up, and we'd go to visit him almost every summer. He actually ran an arcade briefly. But he had all the coolest games. And he had Zelda, of course. But I didn't understand how Zelda worked. I didn't get it, you know? Really, the whole adventure thing. And, um... Of course, he had all the slots taken up. So it's not like I could sit down and play Zelda for 20 hours like I'd need to, especially at that age, with my own save game and everything. So, um, that didn't happen until A Link to the Past came out because I had a Super Nintendo. And I was like, hell yes, Link to the Past. We'd actually rented Super Nintendos and Genesises from <coughs> the rental stores and stuff. Um, and I had rented Super Nintendos and Link to the Past and I had friends who had copies and they recorded themselves playing on uh, Weird control scheme for that right there. Um, wow. It's Zelda, alright. I don't have the sword. I need to go up here. Okay. I have watched a couple of playthroughs, and I've heard a lot about this game. But I've never... Wow, it's pretty classic. Um, what kind of put me in the mood to play this is I've been playing The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> of all the things. Um, so I don't really have any idea where I should go or what I should do. So, as playthroughs go, this could go really poorly. That's not too bad. Come here, you. There isn't really any in-game map. I think you get bonus items for killing all the enemies on a screen, is that right? Maybe not. I, I really don't know anything about this. Buy something, will ya? I've only got two rupees. We need that blue candle someday, I, I bet. They don't tend to put any items in these games that you don't ever need. Okay, I have a shield, so if I'm facing them, I should be safe. Thank god it fires. Probably after this first video, though, um, definitely by like the third video or something, depending on how long this one goes on, um, I will go watch some plays, some other people playing the game, so I can... Oh, oof, I don't have fire protection. Ooh! I don't have, uh, my beams anymore. Faces. Uh, he's not gonna come any closer just yet. I'm thinking maybe if I go back here, I might find some dudes. Oh. 
Yeah. Come here, you. Nice. So. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Classic music, though, huh? I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go somewhere around here. Yeah. I believe this is the first dungeon. You pre I've heard you want to just go straight here. That's what I remember seeing other people do anyway. Because I have no idea what I'm doing in here. Got a key. to be nice guys that's kind of that's what we're finding out here is I'm sort of curious all this time is this game really all that hard or is it just kind of old and different so and one of the problems these old games have had as we've seen from playing Metroid and from playing old Mega Man is the drops can sometimes be a bit uneven Okay, that's nice. Not too bad. I know I want to get as much money as I can because some really good items. Like the ring or something. Costs money. This is pretty fun, I gotta say, though, you know, as somebody who didn't play this very much back in the day, but, you know, somebody who likes old school games, I'm having a good time. I'm, I'm pretty into it. The pace of the action is pretty good, especially for the limitations of the system at the time, you know? Hey, I some of my skills from Link to the Past help out, I guess. Eastmost Peninsula is the secret. I think that's actually um, a place where you can get a heart. Or you can choose to get a life potion if you're an idiot. Everybody's like, only idiots buy the potion. Oh, sweet, the letter. Need that. Oh, that's not the letter, that's the map. Let's see where we are. I need a treasure from this stage. Oh, wow. Yeah, the boomerang. There it is. You don't need the big key to. Whoa! They make a weird little noise. Oh, this is the boss. Rape face? Rape face. Alright, I got another heart container. Hey, we're making progress on this already, right? But, of course, like a lot of these games, 
This first part is the entrance exam. It's really easy. Pretty much, you have to be a nest retard to fail. Sweet, the boomerang works good. So we are going to save state these things. I'm not even going to pretend. Because I'm not dealing with this out of date horse shit. I don't even know how this game works. You know, so... Um... That's the end of this video, for now, because we beat the first dungeon. Uh, see you next time.